The only time I've lost in the last three or four years was those Atlanta Falcons. <laughs> the Atlanta Falcons, what they've done in the Super Bowl yeah. and what they did against the Cowboys are two of the biggest choke jobs in the history of civilization. What would you have won if the Falcons won the Super Bowl? $100,000. <laughs> I bet $100,000 on them. And they and listen. Let me tell you something. Oh. I was drunk at halftime. <laughs> I was doing shots. Hey, I was up twenty eight to three. I was feeling it. And then one of my friends, Roy Green, says, "Yo, man, the game's not over yet." I said, "Dude, we're up twenty eight to three. <laughs> and and then he says, "No, man, the Falcons are playing not to lose. They're trying to walk the ball up and down the court to sh let the shot clock go down." Oh, man. and he was one hundred percent correct. And as soon as Brady got the ball for the last time. You knew it was over. I know. You knew it was over. Damn. And 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 when they when they had the ball and on the first play, they got sacked. And New England called the timeout. All they had to do was run the ball three times. I know. Make New England use up their three timeout. Kick a field goal, the game is over. I mean, I, Dan, that was that was so heartbreaking. That was heartbreaking. Well, at least you did you sober up in the second half? Well, no, I just got drunk. <laughs> Listen, that, that's one thing about, about gambling. You drink when you're going to win, but you drink more when you're going to lose. <laughs>